Hello there, Cancer. Welcome to your bonus love reading for July 2023. Let's see what's happening for you. And happy birthday for those that are you having a birthday here. Okay, so we have the Seven of Wands. Okay, you're holding your own. I think you've been through a lot and you're holding your own. It feels like you still have to try to keep your head above water for some reason. Okay, but you can do it. Let's see, let's clarify. Eight of Wands, yes. We're going from the seven to the eight of wands. So things are going to start moving quickly here. It seems like you just got one more thing to do or something like that. Or just, and things are going to start moving. Or you're going to get a lot of business or a lot of conversation or something's going to happen quick here. Okay. We have here, ooh, the ace of cups. There's a love offer coming in here. Uh-oh. Wow. Or a peak experience of emotions here. You could be feeling love for anything, for anybody, um, for something you're doing here. Page of Pentacles. Okay, I think you're getting an offer here. Maybe even a business offer, or it could be a love offer. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Page of Pentacles. I'm feeling both to you, though. Um, okay, your two leaves. It's like you're, you're, you're connecting with someone that you really resonate with. Whether this is a business partnership, or a friendship, or a love connection... Yeah, whoever this person is, is your mutual love. A lot of love. Okay. Or if it's a business thing, you both love what you're doing, or you just really work well together. You mesh. <laughs> okay, let's see what the general energy is. We have here, yeah, you're moving away from something that no longer serves you. You might even have to leave something behind. Maybe you have to make a sacrifice, or maybe someone's doing that to come towards you. But someone is definitely moving on, saying, nope, I'm not happy where I'm at. I have to move on. Okay, we have here the four swords. There's a, this is a time of healing. Healing from hurt pain. Hurt pain. Oh, previous pain? I don't know what that hurt pain was. Wow, that was weird. Okay. <laughs> but you're healing from a past pain, a past hurt. That's why I want to say a past hurt. Okay. Whoa. Okay. It's just, I'm also I'm getting really foggy. Like when it's like someone doesn't want to look at that. They don't want to think about it. They just want to step away from it. But there, you have to heal. And here, speaking your truth, maybe. Maybe something has to come out before you walk away or before you completely heal. What's going on with the past energy here? Okay, a page of cups. Someone offered you their cup in the past here. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Could be younger than you. Music. Okay. Maybe they did it with a song. They sang to you or they sent you a song or... Um, yeah, they might even, yeah, they might have sent you a song saying, hey, listen to this. Let's see the page of cups. The Empress. Okay. Someone either sees you as the Empress or you're dealing with Libra Taurus energy. But, or you could have been dealing with an Empress. This was uh, maybe someone offered you a new beginning, something, create something new here. Or this could even be um, someone, either you or this person is the mother of someone's child. Or, um, yeah, it feels like, feels pretty deep, whatever it is. Okay, let's see what's coming in in the very near future. Two of Cups. I think someone wants to reconnect with you. They're missing you. I want this partnership. Let's clarify. Oh, they're popping for me here. Okay, let's do it. Now, this is where these came out. There's more than one. And then it, when I went to grab it, it tried to sneak away. Why is that? Let's see what we have here. The Fool underneath the Eight of Pentacles. It's like someone wants a new beginning, but they're hiding. They might. Someone might be hiding behind their work. Or want to work on something, but they're hiding. They really want a new beginning. It almost feels like there's... They're coming to you maybe with a work offer, but they really want more. They want love. Because if you were how they came in, it snuck there. And even here, it was like underneath. So, yeah, someone's trying to hide something there. <laughs> they want something more with you. They definitely want something. They want to work on this. Okay, let's see. What else do we have coming in for you? We definitely have a time of healing. And now I'm getting that maybe you're going on vacation. 
taking a break here, going on vacation, going on a holiday. Much needed a rest here. We've got the four of swords here twice. Okay, let's clarify these four of swords. Ace of Wands, a lot of passion, a lot of desire. I think someone wants to take you on a passionate vacation or a holiday here. Mm-hmm. I think we're, we're talking passion here. Okay, let's see. Um, what is the outside influences? God, I, I feel someone is really foggy on something here. Because I'm having a hard time thinking of what I have to say. I do these all the time. Outside of commitment. Uh, maybe a lot of money involved here in something. Just clarify. Send the cup. You know, someone has options or some, someone might be presenting you with options. It might be options of a commitment or options to make more money. Okay. How do people see you? Good fortune, destiny, wheel of fortune. Maybe you're very lucky at this time, and people are seeing that. See, judgment. Someone wants to come back around. Someone feels like you guys are destined to be together, so they're gonna be coming back in. Okay, how about your hopes or your fears? Let's see what wants to come up. We have here the fool, a new beginning. Aries, Aquarius energy. Taking a leap of faith, a new beginning. Okay, the strength card. You know, it's weird how I said, you know, I always say hope or fear in the way I said it. I think it is your hope and it's also your fear. It's what I'm feeling. Wow. Leo energy. Someone may be getting strength to come towards you um, for, to propose a new beginning. Or maybe this is you taking the leap of faith to do a new beginning here. Okay, let's see his possible outcome. We have here the Queen of Coins, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have the Three of Coins. I'm telling you, I think someone's coming in with an offer to work together with you, but they want more. They want more of a commitment on a, um, more of a social thing. Yeah, look at this and the Eight of Coins. This is, um, I they also think you're going to do quite well with your money. And we have the King of Swords. Someone's coming in to speak their truth here. Okay. I'm seeing you as the Queen of Coins. That you're coming into being, um, you're focusing on your money, you're focusing on your work. Maybe teaming up with someone here. Um, but yeah, you're very work oriented, work focused. But I feel like you're going to do quite well here. And we have here the Turtle. Okay. The Turtle is slow. So something might be, it's very slow process, but it's okay. And um, it's like it's meant to be slow, but it's, it feels like it's slowly building. Okay, so Queen of Pentacles. Let's get a clarifier on this Queen of Pentacles. And we have here the Two of Pentacles. You might be balancing things or trying to make a decision. Usually there's Two of Pentacles, is just, I mean, all the twos are decisions, choices. So you might be, you might also be like balancing two different jobs or, oh my God, all of a sudden I got really tired. And when I said that, so I think a lot of you are, and it's like, okay, you go from one job to the other and, or you're doing something at home, babe, work, but then you go to a, a job that you drive to or you, you know, it's like, I also, when I said I got really super tired, like someone's really burning the can on the floor and trying to keep things um, balanced here, or it could be you trying to do you know, balance your personal life with your career here. What about this three of coins? This is like teaming up with people. King of Wands. Hmm. There's a King of Wands and a King of Swords that's interested in you here. Okay, a lot of passion, a lot of desire. King of Wands. Just could be, could be your boss. Could be someone that's very charming. Um, very pleasing to look at. Okay, let's see. We have here, oh, the vibration is strong. We got a bat here. I get this as vibrations. You guys have strong vibrations between each other. You don't even have to say anything. You could feel it. That I think other people might even feel it when they walk in the room. You two are together. 
and you guys try to avoid it, try to hide it. You can't. You can't. It's too strong. Okay. What about this eight of coins? Three of swords. Okay, so there's this might you might this is not working that maybe at work if this is a person that you work for or work with. There's hurt there. There's there's it's a hard thing to do at work. Okay, let's see about this King of Swords. Aquarius Libra Gemini. We have a transition. This is major change here. This King of Swords might be going through a change, or you just feel like a, a, a shift or something going on here with this King of Swords. Okay, the bottom of the deck. Three of Cups. Yeah, this you're gonna go out with this person. This one, I don't know if you saw like this chemistry or there's vibes going on, but I don't know if you're gonna pursue it because it might cause too much pain at work or there's too many people already can feel the, the tension between the two. There's a lot of um yeah, the sexual tension there. So <laughs> it's kind of strong. Yeah, so but you do have a couple of different people interesting. Let's do do the wording. I'm gonna start with this King of Swords. What's the scoop on this King of Swords? Karma. Surprise. Pleasure. Ooh. So you might be getting your karma. This might be something coming back to you because you deserve it. You know, there's some kind of surprise pleasure with this person. Okay, what about this page of cups? Past energy. Thinking. Unknown. Healing. Okay, so someone's thinking and they're... It's unknown that you're, there's healing going on here. Maybe you guys are both going through a healing. Okay, what about the page of swords? Oh, I guess it should be a page of pentacles. Sorry, it is a page of pentacles. They look similar. Page of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Lover, single, gift. Okay, so yeah, so this page of pentacles is going to bring you a gift. You might be newly single or they're newly single or something about being single. Okay, what about the Queen of Pentacles? We have here apart, married, sex. Ooh, what is that? What's going on here? I said apart. This is the part is after. Boy, am I I'm feeling very fuzzy. Who am I tapping into? Become tired? I'm fuzzy. Maybe that's it from being tired. No one's working all the time. Okay. After married sex, <laughs> okay. I'm not touching that one. You guys, if it's for you, you'll know it. What about this King of Wands? Always cheater, sexual. Well, there's a lot of chemistry, there's a lot of vibration there. Maybe that's it. Maybe the person's married and they're always cheating. They're very sexual with people around them, or you know, they. They can't, they can't keep a lid on it, all right? <laughs> okay. Now, that might be for you, might not be for you. Let's see what signs we have for you, Cancer. What are the signs? Leo. Cancer. There you go. Gemini. Virgo. Sagittarius. And there you are, Cancer again. Okay, so this could be placement, your chart placement, other people's chart, past, present, and future. Leo, Cancer, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, Cancer. Now we'll do the initials. We're going to do 11 dies for the initials. It could be someone's initial for the first name, last name. If you get both someone's initial for the first and last name, and they have a middle name, and you know that middle name, you get that initial also all better. Past, present, and future, also your own initial. We have Z. T M O W Y R D B A K. All right, so letters we have for you today are Z T M O W Y R D B A K. Now let's get 11 or more names. So what names want to go? What are the names? Let me get some names here. What are the names? Please? What are the names?
Any more want to fall out here? Come on. Okay, I'm going to just take a bunch of these. Okay. Let's see how many we have. I think I have enough. We have Luisha, L-U-S-I-A. Um, Sharice, S-H-R-E-E-C-E. -E -E. May. Mackenzie. Jenny, J-E-N-N-Y. Nat. Kirsten, K-I-R-S-T-E-E-N. And then we have Francis. Nydea, Nydea, N-Y-D-E-A. And this is Cara, C-A-R-A. -A. Kylan, K-Y-L-E-N. Uh, Odette, O-D-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E, and Sheridy, S-H-E-R-A-D-E-E. -E -E. Every time I see the Sheridy, I think of chickadee. My little chickadee. Okay, let's see. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 names. Okay, guys, so those are the names. Now, remember, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it does not resonate, check out your other place. In Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, you might get um, something that resonates more with you at this time. Or you might get the missing link, the missing piece. The missing piece of the puzzle that just fits right, just puts everything together. Okay. Um, also, um, remember that at the end of each one of these readings, I have a link to the previous readings, which was a bonus readings for July, the general readings. So, you know, check those out if you haven't checked them out. All right, guys, so just click on that little picture. The thumbnail will take you right to that um, reading there. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and your comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.